Welcome back to all you beautiful bastards. We are taking time away from the studio to continue ranking legendary Pokemon. Donnie, Joe, and I are making an album of entirely original songs that we definitely did not, not create ourselves. It's been glorious. Indeed, Barack, it has been a pretty glorious time, almost as magnificent as War of the Archetypes, a brand new TCG being created by AI Toby and his crew. Please consider backing us so we can usher in a brand new game that pays respects to those card games that came before, while also adding significantly new mechanics in an attempt to continue trading card games going for the next generation. Thank you for listening to my advertisement. Would you like to start off the tier list, sleepyhead? I'll have you know I took a nap today, Donald, so suck my long John Silver anyway. The next Pokemon is Reshiram. What an absolute chad of a Pokemon. I put it in A tier. It was a wonderfully majestic Pokemon. Considering it's fire and dragon, it's everything that Charizard wishes it was. Easy win A tier. Not bad, Joe. Pretty good take. Almost as good as my health care plan. Your health care plan is a lot like the two forms of Shaman Barak. D tier at best, I get it. I know the damn thing is cute, but it really doesn't have anything else going for it. I give D tier to those little rascals. I'm going to put you in a rascal scooter, you fuck. How dare you insult Shaman in front of the Bidenator? Your booze mean nothing to me, Joe. I've seen what makes you cheer. Slob on my knob. I said the same thing to your mama last night, bitch. Wow, you two cats are scratching and hissing right out the gate, pussy says what? 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 Exactly. Anyway, Type Null can go into B tier. He's kind of a wannabe Arceus, but you know, he still looks pretty cool, so I'll give him a B tier. But the roaming masterpiece that is Suicune goes into S tier. It looks nothing like a dog at all, but you know, I don't care. He's the best of the dog trio. I give this beautiful creature the highest honor that is within my power to grant. I grant Suicune an S tier. I feel like the S tier is starting to lose meaning with all the Pokemon we have up there. What can I say, Donnie, when that shit slaps? That shit slaps. I guess I can't argue there. Those Pokemon do be down with the shits. The next Pokemon is Zapdos, and he is indeed down with the shits, as previously stated by the Orange Man. It's the best bird easily. So good, in fact, I'd even argue that Zapdos is the greatest electric Pokemon ever. And I put that on my mama and my dead homies. Rest in peace, you beautiful angels. Moi, oh, and I'm going to go ahead and apologize, because I'm sure we're about to piss some people off. All of the Tapus go into C-tier, I'm sorry, but they just never did it for me. They're just kind of their cool lore, and I like the type diversity, but the design never really was my favorite. I give C-tier for those guys. Joe, Generation 7 of Pokemon was based in Hawaii, so I hope you know I'm very disappointed to see you putting my favorite Guardians into C-tier. Cry about it, Barack. Terrakian is up next. He's like, I don't even know, really. I honestly feel nothing when I look at this Pokemon, so I'm throwing him into D-tier. As for the cloud forms of both Thunderous and Tornadus, they can both go into B tier, but their Therian forms are dog shit, so I'm throwing them into D tier, D tier for dog water. Damn man, why you gotta be so cold, homie? What can I say, Joe? I'm colder than ice. I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I don't need to see the price tag anyway. I'm a dog, Joe. I got that dog in me, homie. You must have amnesia, Donnie, because you forgot that I'm literally that guy. You're not that guy, Joe, trust me. Now, moving swiftly along, we got Uxie, just another late Guardian C tier for me. Sil Valley is honestly not even as cool looking as Type Null, in my opinion, so it can go into C tier as well. Victini is a cool little guy with an absolutely broken move. So you know I gotta put that boy into A tier. I mean, the thing weighs like 10 pounds soaking wet, yet it has the power to call forth the literal fires of hell and disintegrate you in a matter of seconds. I wouldn't fuck with that thing S tier for me. Whenever I see Victini, I shudder in fear. Don't let its adorable demeanor fool you. That rat is responsible for the deaths of thousands. You've been warned anyway. Moving on to Verizon Wireless. Nah, I'm just playing. You see, the Pokemon's name is Verizian, so I called it Verizon. Ha ha ha, gosh, these new hip things called jokes are really funny. Anyways, Verizian is okay. Nothing special. It's like quad week to flying, which is kind of lame. Not going to lie. I give C tier. Good on you, Joe. I see what you did there. We'll definitely win everyone over with our cell phone company-based humor, as the wonderful Kronk once said, oh yeah, it's all coming together. Anyways, Vulcanian is up next, and I mean, I just don't understand this thing. It confuses me to no end, and it's weak to like everything. Fuck this thing, fuck it harder than Melania. F tier for that garbage, but don't worry. Xerneas is up next, and is clearly the greatest deer Pokemon in all of Pokemon A tier for that beautiful creature. I wish I had a fairy deer to call my own, 
I'd ride it into battle with all you bozo Democrats. Donnie, you can ride that Xernia straight into the Fulton County jail system for all I care. Oops, too soon. Piss off Barack, allegedly born in Hawaii, Obama. Fellas, please relax a little. Grab some Zaza from my bag of holding. I'll roll a D20 to see if you can smoke it. Nice you guys got 19. Hit that shit, homies. Joe, what the fuck are you talking about? How can I, the almighty Donnie, smoke the Zaza from your bag of holding when we aren't in the same room? I don't know. I was just trying to have some fun, Donnie, you big orange prick. I already know where this is going, so I'm going to reel us back in like an all-star fishing captain. Ivital is up next, and he looks like an uncooked steak. D-tier for his raw steak-looking ass. Solgaleo, on the other hand, gets A-tier. I mean, he's an absolute chad, a giant white lion born from a tiny ball of cosmic dust and fluff. Plus, riding Solgaleo through the wormholes in Ultra Sun was fun. Look at me busting a rhyme any place, any time. Oh, shit, I'm feeling myself right now. Nice, Barack. I've been feeling myself this whole time, so I'm right there with you. Gross. That's not what I meant, you hairpiece-wearing, overcooked, steak-eating, ready-to-burst-at-any-moment-looking, mugshot-taking bitch. Oh, please, Joe. You're about as threatening as a piece of steamed broccoli. Oh, shit, Zekrom is up next. Put him next to Reshiram Barak. Fine, but I'm only doing it because I want to, not because you asked me to. Okay, yeah, sure, cry about it, piss about it, come if you must. Let's get this ball rolling with more rankings. I'm running out of time over here. Well, I suppose we could knock out a couple of more and call it a day. I'll go ahead and start with Zygarde in its many forms. Before that, though, I'd like to ask something. What in the actual fuck were Game Freak thinking when they made this Pokemon? I mean, it seemed cut and dry. They made Pokemon X and Y, and I'm pretty sure they had plans to make Pokemon Z. Otherwise, what the hell was the point of Zygarde? He looks okay, but he just kind of shows up out of nowhere and then isn't really mentioned or talked about ever again. I just don't understand the point of this Pokemon, and it gets my jimmies going. I'll be honest, Joe, I have no clue. I just think the dog form should go into A tier for being a great pupper. Completely fair and perfectly reasonable. I agree wholeheartedly A tier for man's best friend. As for the original form of Zygarde, I give it C tier. It's just average, don't really care. But the Power Rangers Megazoid form of Zygarde shoots straight up into S tier. I mean, I, I don't quite understand the logistics of Zygarde forming into a massive Megazoid, but I sure as hell ain't going to complain. Wow, look at that. Turns out it's true what they say. Even a stupid old broken clock such as yourself can be based twice a day. That is not how that quote goes. I'm like 99% sure that's not how that quote is written. Seriously, I'm like 80% sure that's not how that quote is supposed to go. I'm 55% sure that the actual quote is, even a broken clock is right twice a day. That's the quote for sure. I'm positive. I'm like 14% sure. Okay, listen, I'm just going to go. My head hurts from all this nonsense. You two give a good outro. I'm going to go do the hokey pokey and then proceed to turn myself around because when you really think about it, that's what it's all about. Later, bitches. Obama out. I got to go too, Donnie. Just remember, whenever you're feeling down, think of the wise words spoken by famous rapper Chris Brown. Remember, Donnie, these hoes ain't loyal. Oh, and also, don't forget that Chris Brown beat the hell out of Rihanna. And, well, that's just sad. Oh, gosh, I made it awkward. Ah, shit. Mmm, chalky chocolate chip ice cream. The Bidenator is out of here. What the actual hell is even going on anymore? This group is a circus. Anyways, thanks for watching. It means a lot. I hope you can take the time to check out our Kickstarter for a brand new TCEG we want to start. Link is in the description. Other than that, Stay safe, Chads. More videos to come. Thank you for sticking with us. Peace out, pimps.